Hi, I'm Kyler here at Boulevard Home, and today I'm gonna go over the KitchenAid dishwasher. There are so many dishwashers to choose from, so why would you choose this KitchenAid one? We're gonna go over the pros and the cons of this dishwasher to see if it is right for you. The thing that most people love about this dishwasher is the third rack. It is a free flex third rack, which means you can put your cups, bowls, and mugs right on this top rack. And it has a rotating bar that sprays up into the cups. It also has this utensil tray that is removable right on top. In addition to the rotating jets on bottom, it also has a wash arm on top that is going to get all of your dishes really clean. This dishwasher has five different wash cycles, including the Pro Wash Cycle, which is really cool because it sprays the water up and measures how fast it falls down based on how much food is still left on your dishes. So it can measure how much water it needs to use, the heat, and how long the wash cycle needs to actually be to get those dishes clean. So this dishwasher has an advanced water system, which means that it has a wash arm on all three racks, which most dishwashers don't actually have. So it'll get water all the way up to the third rack and second rack and the bottom rack. So this dishwasher is actually pretty quiet. It has a 44 decibel rating, which compared to other dishwashers, we did a Bosch review on a dishwasher. Bosch ranged from 40 to 44 decibels. This is 44, so it's gonna be pretty quiet as well. Um, some other dishwashers go up all the way to 60 decibels, so this is gonna be at a lower range, very quiet dishwasher. So this dishwasher actually has a heating element at the bottom, which most dishwashers don't have anymore. It's gonna be right at the bottom down here. So it's going to actually heat dry your dishes instead of using condensation or a fan dry. Condensation dry is when they actually put a cold element on the side of the dishwasher to pull the water away from the dishes. And fan dry is exactly what it sounds like. There's gonna be a fan in the back of your dishwasher drying them off. That's gonna leave more of water spots, um, whereas this one shouldn't leave as many water spots. So this dishwasher has the two, four, and eight hour delay wash cycles. People always ask me what the point of this is. It's so it won't conflict with your other hot water demands like taking a shower or washing your laundry. Um, you can set it so it will turn on after those needs are met. So this dishwasher has the bar handle on it, which is more of a professional look. Um, some people compare it to the uh, Frigidaire Professional or the Thermador bar handles. The exterior of this is fingerprint resistant, so it might still leave some fingerprints, but it's gonna be a lot easier to clean than regular stainless. Some things to consider before you buy this dishwasher is that it is not a smart dishwasher, so it won't be able to connect to Wi-Fi or your phone. Nowadays, a lot of people do like smart appliances because it's able to connect to your phone so you can see when the wash cycle is done and be able to control it from not being at home. So this dishwasher does not have that option. If the Wi-Fi is not an important factor for you, then this could still be a really great fit for you. This dishwasher does not come with a panel-ready option. A lot of people nowadays like the panel-ready option because you are able to put the cabinet coating on the front of the dishwasher. This does not have that option. It will just have the bar handle option for you. This model doesn't have the bottle sprayers in it like previous models might have had. Um, bottle sprayers are the things that connect to the water bottle so it cleans inside the water bottle easier. But like I mentioned before, this one does have the rotating wash arms on the third rack that you can still put your cups, bowls, and mugs on so you will still be able to clean the inside of your cups perfectly. Hopefully this review helps you determine if this dishwasher is right for you. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss what videos come next.